Hey guys, it's me Abby. So today I'm doing my February favorites 2014. Um, I usually don't do favorites every month, but I have not been doing every month. I think did I do January favorites? I did do a January favorites. Um, I mean my goal is to try to do favorites every single month because that would just be nice. Um, I feel like it helps you guys. Unless I have like the exact same things and I didn't buy anything new. <laughs> guys, I'm so sick. I I wanted to film this video. I know if I waited till like later to film this, I would never I would never film it. I have to. My nose is red. I actually covered up some of my dark circles and nose with some concealer because they're so red and dark. I know my nose hurts because it's so dry because I was blowing my nose a lot and my eyes are my under eye circles are the worst, so I covered that up and may I just feel like crap overall. But I'm filming anyway, so props to me. Let's start off with the, with the most important stuff, which is makeup. I use this primer every single day. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I use this every single day. It's just basically a clear gel like this. And it just blends into your skin really nice really nicely. And it softens it and makes your pores kind of blurred. Um, I don't have very big pores, so I don't really have a problem with that. I do be able to just use it to smooth out my face so that my, so my face makeup kind of glides on a lot better. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. You can buy this at Target, Walmart, um, CVS, Walgreens, anywhere they use it. Ugh, God. <laughs> Sells makeup. Ugh. Don't talk. Don't stare at my nose. Just... Focus, focus, just got by like that. Mm. I also love this Rimmel Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer. Although I'm, I want to get a new one because I mean, like, if you put on too much of this, it makes you look so cakey. Like, wherever you put it. Well, actually, mostly under the eyes since I have very dry under eyes. You know, it's hard that, you know, I usually deal with concealers looking really cakey. So, uh, this, this does this, but only if you apply a lot. So this is what it looks like. It's really creamy and it's not thick. I mean, I guess it can be thick, but it's not like, you know, really thick that you can't like blend it out. So yeah, I love this stuff. You can find this wherever you they saw Remmel. Remmel. Remmel products are really great. They always work out for me. Next, I've actually been liking something that's very surprising. I love, 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 love this Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder. And you don't know how I love this so much. I love it because when my, my, my Rumble Stay Matte Powder, I dropped it. It cracked, okay? I, you know, I mashed it up so it would be a kind of loose-ish powder. And then I dropped it again and it spilled everywhere. And I have, like, a tinted carpet that's, like, skin tone, which kind of sucks. No, I had this there because I needed a powder, so I just used it, like, whatever. I don't know why I'm using this. I guess I just love my Rumble Stay Matte Powder so much I just didn't use it. But I love this. You know how silky? It feels like there's, like, a silicone powder. Oh, it probably is such thing, but this thing like feels like silicone, but in a powder formation. And this is in the light pale, and this is a little tiny hair too dark. But once once you blend it out, it looks it looks like exactly like my skin tone. But it's the best part ever. It's so smooth, and it blends into your skin really easily, and it doesn't even look like you're wearing anything. Next. For blushes, I actually don't really have a certain blush. I'm, I've been loving my NYX blush in terracotta, which I've actually been wearing a lot. So I guess this is this can be counted as one of my favorites. It is a shimmery coral orange color, but it comes off like a really nice natural color and it adds a nice highlight to the cheeks. So I don't have to really apply like a lot of highlighter. I love shimmery blushes, but I also love matte colors. But let me just show you. It's like a burnt orange red but it, it doesn't look unnatural something about you girl makes my head go round I don't even know what he's saying of course my bronzer is always my NYC smooth skin bronzing face powder don't need to get too in depth with this it's maze balls and look how much I've used yeah once I feel like after like a few months or something like that I'll be done with it. Look how dark that gets. If you build it up really nicely, yeah. 
For primer, I have been loving this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, um, like, little booklet here. I've been, I've used all of them except the anti-aging one. I'm going to use to save that for last. I'll be older then, so I'll need this. Ah, I'll be older for, like, I don't know, whatever. I'm weird. Love Sin. It gives a really pretty shimmery color. You just have to apply a little bit of a little amount so it doesn't look too shimmery. But and then I love Lerve Lerve this um, Eden one. The only problem is that if you apply too much, it looks really cakey on the eyes. It gives me oils under control. Like I have really oily eyelids. It drives like a nude um, skin tone color. And basically the palette I'm using the most often is my Naked Three palette. I am in love with this palette. I cannot stop. This palette is just like heaven in a freaking container. Colors are to die for. Oops, I'm sorry. That's kind of me blending a little bit. But oh my Jesus. I cannot stop using this palette. The most colors I use are Burnout, Strange, Limit, Nooner, and Trick. And sometimes Buzz, but I don't use these dark shades. No, I guess. But I love love this palette i cannot this is strange one of my favorite colors in this palette i don't know why but it's a matte white you don't know how much i love matte whites if you've been if you've been with me since the beginning you know how much i love matte whites so and they're so pigmented this is not my absolute favorite i mean it's one of the best ones i've used so far i'm still looking for that really good eyeliner that doesn't, that doesn't fade or smudge but this is pretty good doing that it is the kat von d waterproof autograph pencil in pure armor this is really tiny. I mean, it came like that big, maybe, for like 10 bucks. Not that bad, um, but this is what it looks like. It's really black, and it it stays on your eyes for quite a bit, but, you know, if you have really, like, watery eyes, probably going to smudge really quickly. I love this. I put on my waterline and tie, and my absolute favorite liquid eyeliner in the world is Stila's Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. I'm going to get the full size and I'm going to get the colored ones because this is amazing. Look at that. You see the little part where it, where it kind of like sticks out? Well, that is annoying me because it doesn't hold that much product. And, like, if you just, like, color it with the very tip, I mean, it's good, but, like, it doesn't have, like, look, it kind of just, like, streaks. Unless you go from, like, the side. And that's where you get the most product, if you know what I mean. My absolute favorite mascara in the entire world. I will try new mascaras, but I don't think any mascara can top the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This is the most amazing mascara I've probably ever used in my entire life. Because this doesn't clump at all. And it also just gives you the most beautiful volume and length in the entire world. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm actually wearing Benefit They're Real. Yeah, but oh my Jesus, this makes your eyelashes look beautiful, but like at the same time, like it doesn't clump up. I can put on like two or three coats with this and it will not look clumpy. It is the best mascara ever. I love layering my mascara and this is a perfect layering mascara because um, it gives the most volume and length and it's amazing. I've been lazy with my eyebrows, so don't even ask about my eyebrows. They're not even filled in. Yeah, I don't know. I've just been so lazy with them. Maybe I should fill them in now because I feel like my face just looks kind of unbalanced. <laughs> Can you not? Hmm. I think I look like an old man. Yeah. I try blending, but it just looks so harsh. Let's, let's keep talking. So, for lip favorites, I've been wearing my baby lips a lot most of the time. I've been liking um these colors. This is Pink Punch, Cherry Me, and Striker Rose. I've been wearing this one a lot. Striker Rose. Oh, guys, I feel so sick of you. No. So. Fa. Next, I have my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. This stuff is the crap. I love this. I am about... Okay, so... I'm probably about halfway done with this, and I have like half, maybe a fourth left. Oh, it's the best crap ever. It's gonna like a gel like that, okay, and it just blends into your skin 
like no other moisturizer does to me. And it, and it sinks in in like 0.5 seconds. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm actually being dead serious. And it, it smells like fruity candy. Oh, it's amazing. And it's a gel. So it's really good for oily skin because it doesn't leave your face feeling greasy. But it also hydrates my face so well. And I, oh, I just can't get enough of it. These two face brushes I've been loving for the whole month. Shaney Cosmetics brush number 30. Oh my god. This brush is like... I use it for powder. My To you it might be a little bit too small for powder, but it gets like around the crevices of my nose and my eyes. And it, it's so super duper freaking soft. And then this one's really soft too. It's the Real Techniques um, Multitask Brush. So I use it for my my blush and my bronzer. No, I'm in love is an understatement. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this scent as much as I'm, I'm obsessed with food. That's kind of a big thing to me because I know food never tops I mean, food tops everything. This Love & Beauty Ultra Hydrating Coconut Body Mist is nothing like any other body mist I've ever tried. It is smells like freaking heaven and like you're in the freaking Bahamas. Oh my, I could... Anyway, it smells like you're in the freaking Bahamas and that. You now I'm gonna spray it everywhere. Cause this smells freaking. It smells so light. I could live in the scent. Oh, it smells like freaking like you're in the Bahamas. And like, I'm obsessed with this. I spray it as a room spray. I spray it all over my body. I spray my hair. I spray it on my face. I'm not drugging my face, but. I spray it on my bed. See, I spray it on my pillow before I go to bed so that I go to sleep smelling that scent. Yes, I am obsessed. I also spray everything that belongs to me with this spray. I spray everything with this because it smells so good. You need to go to Forever 21, look for the coconut body mist and buy it. Freaking, I cannot. Just go spray over them on my bed and when I go in there after I film this video, it just smell like freaking coconut. Okay, I just got a whole drop of it on my finger. Oh, I cannot stop. Just don't judge me because I spray everything with this because it's the bomb. And when I put this in my empties video, when it runs out, I'm gonna cry because this is my favorite. Recently, I ran out of my hot, no, hot butter rum candle and I'm freaking upset about it I had to now depot um, the rest of it because I can't really burn it anymore oh, I love this scent so much <sighs> oh, I love light really sweet food scents oh my god I could smell this all day like in my freaking room and my everything my clothes my hair and my, my whole body smelled like this I'd be awkwardly smelling myself. Enjoy this, and I hope hopefully I, I clear. I don't. I can. I'll, I'll stop sneezing by the time I make another video because I do, I cannot live, live like this for more than a week. So, bye.